President Kenyatta will go on, go down as the president who presided over heavy indebted economy in the history of the country, where debt servicing takes more than two thirds of our national revenue, that is roughly all, by an estimate of 1.17 trillion. Trade deficit soaring past 1 trillion, and banks beholden to government, treasury bills and securities. This is the true legacy of President Kenyatta's disastrous presidency, and not the glamorous picture he painted during his State of the Nation address uh, in Parliament. He has been uh, assaulting democracy and shows scorn for the rule of law, including blatant uh, disregard of court orders, viciously attacking the institution of judiciary. President Kenyatta has unleashed the Uhuru Gulag of state terror and brutality upon the people of Kenya. He has succeeded in capturing, compromising, and weaponizing the state uh, institutions, especially police and the prosecutorial services of the Office of the Director of Pro Public Prosecutions for his own political purposes. The President could be uh, applying tactics or strategies to retain power. It's very obvious that the governance institutions have been used throughout this particular term by the state, what you know they call deep state, which is a criminal enterprise group there that wants to retain power, but they get the support and backing of the president because in this country, executive power uh, is, is retained uh, heavily by the president. The other institutions support the executive. And therefore, when you see police brutality, when you see abductions like the one uh, that uh, Dennis Itumbi suffered. When you see political parties, some selective political application of uh, police authority uh, in, in terms of uh, disruption of political activities, different political parties are given different treatment. When you see some members of parliament being thrown out of, the, of their committees using the uh, executive, all that is a sign that this particular executive wants to control state power now and after the elections. And of course, you have seen the same state power being used to support some candidates. And uh, without avoidance of doubt, it is, uh, has been demonstrated that the right honorable Raira Odinga, who saw himself as a president after the last general elections is now being protected, has never been prosecuted, seem to share a very cordial relationship with the president